This is Stephen Whitesides with Greenbrier Music uh, playing on a new brand. We just put out a video on the Series 8 Drumcraft North American Maple Kit. This is the Series 6, the slightly less expensive cousin. This is a black on black finish. I think obviously screams somewhere between rock and roll and austere and professional. The black hardware is the only thing that makes me think a little more rock and roll. Uh, this kit does come in some awesome alternative finishes. The white hardware might be for the uh, drummer looking to play in a more professional venue where you're being judged by a different crowd of people. Uh, if you're rocking with young people, black on black's really the way to go. Now, as far as the way these sound in comparison to the Series 8 and in comparison to Ludwig Gretsch and Pearl Drum, let's start with comparison to Series 8. Uh, these shells are a lot more resonant. They're very warm than, uh, the, uh, in other words, more resonant than Series 8. Uh, they have a lot more low tone to them. I felt like Series 8 was kind of a, a higher, more tonal, uh, pitched set of toms. These are very earthy, very rumbly, and you get a lot out of them. Uh, I feel like these actually lend themselves to rock, reggae, hip-hop, anything where you want a really fat sound better than Series 8 and for a better price. You get a lot of the same features. You get the same Drumcraft proprietary awesome tom mounts. They feel awesome to play. They're really great. And the beautiful looking bass drum claws and all of the drum lugs are Drumcraft signature. They're really cool looking too. Um, you get a robust bass drum, lots of lugs, six lugs on the 12 inch. Um, I really enjoy that. I'm in love with the snare drum. I like the uh, power center coated head that they put both on this and the Series 8. Uh, now comparing to other brands for this price point, you usually get a pretty garbage, plain old single ply coated snare drum head. That's one of the first things I'd rip off and replace with like an Evans, uh, maybe an ST Drive, one of my favorite heads, or the uh, EC2 Reverse Dot is a really good 14 inch snare head. Uh, but this head I'm actually really happy with, that's cool. Um, on Series 6, however, whereas I like the power collar clear head for like a Ludwig Epic or an Element, or uh, you know, a comparable kit to this would be like the, uh, the Gretsch Catalina Series kits, um, it kind of works for those drums. I don't feel like it works that well on this bass drum. It's the one part of the kit I'm not overly happy with, but I think the bass drum's great. It's the head that's terrible, the batter head. Uh, get an Evans EMAD 22-inch uh, for this 18 by 22 bass. That would be a much better selection. Uh, we have 12, 14, and 16 inch toms. It's the same setup, the rock configuration, as the um, North American Maple Series 8 that we uh, did a previous video on. And just so you know, we're playing similar cymbals. This is the Bizant regular series. It's a 14 inch pair of medium hats, a medium 16. You get the 18 inch crash for free with the set, which uh, is another really cool thing that Minel's given us that nobody else has. So if you want to buy Meinl Bizant and you really don't want to pay the outrageous made in Germany prices, buy a set, getting the 18 free saves you a couple of hundred bucks um, off the price of buying them, and then you get them for you know, probably a lower price EV in, uh, than some of the, the American brands like Children or uh, Sabian up in Canada. You're probably getting right on even pricing with them. And you're getting a similar sound here to uh, Zildjian K or to a Sabian HHX. Uh, the hammerings, you know, hand hammered, very similar stuff. You'll notice there's two rivets in this 20-inch uh, medium ride we're using. Uh, those are great, but we'll have a video with more about the cymbals coming up later. So uh, back to the drums, that's what it sounded like using the same kind of microphones, SM57s you'll find in a lot of bar scenarios. Uh, so what you just heard is what the kit's going to sound like if you take it out on a gig. That'll be your inside the kit listening to a monitor, and outside the kit in the crowd, that's what they'll hear. Uh, so for the guy who's not a working drummer, if you want to know what this will sound like inside your house, we're going to show you uh, just two SM81A Sura overhangs, and we're going to have the Audix T6 pick mic. We're turning everything else off for the second half of this video, and you can use that to maybe better compare this kit to the other kits we've done videos on. There are hundreds on the Greenbrier Music channel. If you'd like to order any of the particular video model kits, if you'd like any of the base pedals or hardware that I've set up to be comfortable to play on, uh, look for our used listings on eBay or Greenbrier Music Store. And we're, uh, again, greenbriarmusic.com is a great place to find some bargains on this stuff. If you like what we're doing in the videos, please support us, and we'll keep putting out more videos. All right, here's a little more on how the kit sounds. <laughs> 